For the circuit in figure 1 below, find the 7 and equivalent at the port defined by the terminals P and Q. Utilize MNA to solve the circuits that arise in your solution. The value of the resistor R, this resistor, depends on your student number according to this formula, where H is the last digit of your student number. There are at least four different ways of finding the 7 and equivalent between the terminals P and Q. The fastest one, if we do not care for having the grade of our first midterm replaced, would be using sources transformation. Let's see how that works. I will replace this Norton group by a 7 amp group. 3 amps in parallel with 4 ohms will be replaced by a 3 times 4 12 volts V source in series with a 4 ohm resistor. The circuit now looks like this. Those two sources can be put in series, they have the same polarity, and be replaced by a 30 volt source. And the 4 and 6 resistors in series by a 10 ohm resistor. The branch will look like a 30 10, like this one. Now we can convert these two 7 and branches, 30 in series with 10 and 10 in series with 5, into Norton branches. 30 divided by 10 is a 3 amp source in parallel with 10, like this one, and replace these two by 10 divided 5, 2 amps in parallel with 5 ohms. A circuit like this one. Now we can simplify all the current sources. This one cancels out this one. We're left with 3 amps and 10 in parallel with 5. This would be the equivalent, the Norton equivalent of that circuit at the port PQ. Convert this Norton branch into a 7 amp branch. 3 times 3.333 periodic, that is 10 volts with this polarity, and a 3.333 ohm resistor. And this is the solution to that exercise. Do not forget to watch the other videos with the other possible solutions using the classic methods, the UBC 1 amp 2 amp methods, and the kill the sources method. Thank you very much.